this is hey there this is Brian from Motion Media and I'm here to show you a brief overview of the new material library that you get with V-Ray 5 for 3ds Max and soon enough Maya and the other applications that V-Ray supports I'm in 3ds Max 2021 with a very exciting scene a teapot and a tube but really it's about the material presets and if you haven't seen the asset uh, browser yet I will show you that briefly as well the first thing we're going to do is go over to our V-Ray toolbar and go to the asset browser and here we can see our V-Ray asset browser this has been available for the 3ds Max 2018 and newer and we have a V-Ray material library you can see that comes up this is a fresh install of V-Ray 5 and 3ds Max 2021 so this is what I got right out of the box so to speak we got our slider here we can zoom in and get a bigger view of these icons we can go through some of these materials like bricks ceramic porcelain of course car paint concrete diagrammatic which that should be interesting emissive fabric there's quite a few fabrics in here they look quite nice foam glass ground leather liquid metal everybody likes metal there's lots of metal I mean look at that that's pretty sweet paper plastic stone tiles various which these are actually pretty nice wall paint and wallpaper wooden laminate which is one of my favorites because having a quick way of showing wood on a floor uh, is ever so helpful all of these are presets that can be fully customized and changed this is just a really great start point for a lot of your projects what you can do in this material library you can filter them with these buttons here you can right click on any of these and assign it to uh, an object in Mac so for example this fine tube if I wanted to have wine rose I'm just gonna right click on that say add to selected objects and you can see here in my V-Ray frame buffer this is being changed if I want to go ink blue add to select projects and so forth so it's really quite nice if you add it to the scene it will add it to the material library the material editor excuse me and uh, you can go from there let's go to wood and laminate and you can see here I have a herringbone laminate on the uh, floor here whoops I'm in the compact material editor and that's because I'm old <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna change this floor out you can see you can right click on this add to scene the one thing since this is a double this uh, box it's just a box it has a multi sub object material applied to it but what I can do is go into my herringbone here open up my material if you're not familiar with this already you would go to open material library I'm going to go to my V-Ray material library and for example if I wanted to add the leather in there I could go to leather and now I have all of the leathers added to my material library and I can make that you know floor brown leather which I'm sure is amazing there you go pretty awesome so what I want to do is change this to uh, the wood planks maybe Uh, this one right here voila and now we have white wood planks there if I uh, click on my teapot and you know who doesn't like a good metal chrome teapot um, not gonna go to oh, various is pretty interesting uh, I will go to I will go to a paint uh, why not good old chrome how about black chrome oh sorry I had the floor uh, on that but you can see it's a black chrome floor so that's cool <laughs> uh, I will put this uh, wood planks let's just drop this and add this to the scene and assign that so now we'll have wood planks everywhere then we'll go to this teapot 
go here, add chrome black. So a lot of awesome presets available right out of the box in V-Ray 5 for 3DS Max. Again, some people have trouble finding this. It's just in the chaos. It's in the V-Ray toolbar. So I don't know, you can, uh, by default, usually this toolbar is floating around when you first install V-Ray. Um, this is, I have, this 3DS Max is just installed. I haven't set up any preferences or toolbars. So this is um, pretty much what you would see if you're brand new to the to 3ds max and v-ray until you uh, customized it to your personal preferences all right i will come back with another video on another v-ray 5 feature shortly